Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. The Gala Alliance, a.k.a. Celebración Artística de las Américas, is a nonprofit organization that creates shared arts experiences that encourage cultural understanding between the people of the Americas. This year, Gala created the Crossfade Lab, an event series that presents thought-provoking conversations highlighting internationally known American Latino and Latin American artists from both North and South America. Crossfade Lab takes its name from a DJing technique of crossing and merging two tracks into one. So Crossfade Lab presents artists who work at the intersection of multiple identities, cultures, languages, and art forms. You know what? I feel smarter just tossing to the segment, and you're going to feel smarter for watching it right here on Latin Nation. Crossfade is a really interesting platform where we bring in different performers, whether that's in the visual arts or music or writers, and have a performance conversation with them uh, with the whole idea of mixing culture, mixing different ideas of uh, what the possibilities are in a future of uh, Latino arts. Phoenix is a great space to, to host Crossfade Lab because on, on one hand um, we have a really large Latino population, 40% of downtown Phoenix um, is Latino. This is a young city, it's a city that in some ways uh, reflects the spirit of experimentation. Also this is a space of very urgent political, environmental, social questions that we're, we're grappling with every day. In part, I think CrossFit Lab has been an attempt to intervene uh, in the ongoing cultural and political um, changes and debates that Arizona has been um, a central, has played a central role in around immigration, um, around cultural change in the United States. These are very kind of controversial uh, and difficult issues uh, for so many populations here in Arizona. We really have been approaching Crossfade Lab uh, as a refuge space, almost like a, um, a kind of series of sanctuary events where we're, we're able to, to use art as a way to talk about very difficult political issues and social issues. Every day, we are fulfilling the promise we made to the American people. Here are just a few of the executive actions that I have taken in the last few days in order to immediately begin the border wall and to crack down on sanctuary cities. They are not safe. We have to take care of that horrible situation. I think that uh, Trump being elected president actually gives more importance to Crossfade and how uh, we can unite together to have a true representation of what Latinos are in the United States, specifically in Phoenix. So I'm based in Los Angeles, and you know, in LA, we, we perhaps often take for granted uh, the kind of cultural infrastructures and ideological infrastructures in the city that uh, allow our thinking and our art um, to be supported and happen. For the most part, the cultural and politics of Los Angeles is not in any way kind of comparable to the debates and the tensions that have existed in Arizona for quite a while now. Something like Crossfade feels particularly important because of the urgency around still continuing to experiment, uh, continuing to like blur lines, blur borders. I really want people to be immersed in what it is that we all create tonight. For me, home is, is many homes. I, I can't say that I have just one home because when I go to Tijuana and I see my parents, I'm home. And in Mexico City with my daughter, I'm home. And I'm very comfortable in many places, but I keep going back. You know, Mexico is just like my home. I think people from here, from Phoenix or other border regions in the United States, if they would go to the other border cities, say Tijuana, uh, in other uh, locations that I think they would come away with like a true Mexican experience that is not just what you see in the news about narcotraficantes and violence and so on. You know, there is quite beautiful things that always have been happening in Mexico, specifically with culture, music, and the arts. Mm -hmm. 